186 miles an hour in this car, man. Make sure you guys are sharing my videos on Facebook to let everybody know that we're giving things away every thousand subscribers I get. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Stunner Reese, and I'm back with another video, man. And today in Chicago, guys, it is t shirt weather. It is that nice out here. And yeah, you can see, man, the skies are clear. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The sun is beaming, and I'm practicing my social distancing, except for that one girl right there. But yeah, other than that, man, it's pretty much nobody around me, even though y'all know, man, I am Rona Reese right now, man. I'm Rona ready all the time. But yeah, definitely uh, out here, man, getting this content for y'all, man. But you can see, man, that is the giveaway car, the Putt Putt Prius. And guys, I got some sad news to say, man. Dr. Al said he could possibly save the wheel, but it would have some discoloration on it. So I'm deciding to go with buying a brand new wheel. So that's what we got coming, man. We got a brand new wheel coming for the Putt Putt Prius. So you guys don't have to worry about us not having a rim for the car. Y'all stay tuned for this whole video, man. And don't skip no ads because boom y'all see it man drac and the yell cat is right there and uh we're about to take the yell cat out man and do some things so let's get it let's go with your boy wild boy <sighs> Stun squizzy. So your boy Stun the Reach man is headed back in the back. Look at the legendary stripes on the Hellcat Yellcat man. What y'all think about them stripes, man? Hearing some people say they like it. I haven't really heard anybody say they didn't like it, but you know how people are, man. They just always like sneak this. And now you see, still got all the carnage. Yeah, they all caught uh some form of Rona with the Hellcat. Yeah, the Hellcat is rolling to the books. Definitely, man. Knocked them all out. But y'all can see I still got paint and stuff on here from when I was at the track in Dallas. And I still have the factory rims in the back now. In this video, you got to clean it up. And the factory rims have to come off. And we got to throw on the beast. That's right. About to put those on in this video. And then... We gonna take the Hellcat Yellcat for a ride. So let's get to it. But I know y'all been wanting this. Y'all haven't heard this in a while. So I'm gonna give y'all a cold start. Let's go. That's gonna be really soon. Can't wait. But uh, let's pull this thing out and get these tires switched over. And then we're gonna get it cleaned up. And then we're gonna take it for a wild little ride. Let's go. All right, stuff's good. So now we gotta jack this thing up. Ooh, look at that. I need catfish so bad right now, man. Yeah. 
I know, oh my goodness, look at my break this man, from sitting. Because actually when we was coming back from Dallas, it was actually raining. And you can really see that all that rainwater has paid a toll on my rotors. They look like rusty, dusty, crusty right now. Got all this dirt and stuff on the Hellcat. Yeah, okay. Got to take care of that today. All right, let's get this other wheel out of the trunk and get this thing going, man. Yeah. Ooh, this thing is heavy. This definitely ain't no demonology wheel. Ah, drag, drag, drag. I can't wait. I hope y'all can't wait, man, because I can't wait, definitely. All right, let's get this thing changed over. Let's go. All right, Stuff Squizzy. So we got the rims back on the Hellcat Yellcat, and man, I can't wait to get this thing cleaned up. Definitely need a bath, man. Need to rinse the nuts. For real, for real. All right, Stun Squizzy, so we have made it inside the beast, man. The official Hellcat Yellcat, baby. Yeah, y'all see it, man. And uh, we gonna put this thing in track mode. I need that whole 700, 700. Yeah, you know I get that 700 rush sometimes, man. And I got it right now. I need to see what this thing gonna do. <laughs> wash and get this baby cleaned up freshened up man and then i'm gonna bring y'all some driving footage and go from there man so y'all just watch this whole video don't skip no ass oh i need to put some air in my tires because i still got my race car tire pressure on man and that ain't good 21 and 22 hell no let's get to this damn gas station and get some air all right son squeezy so your boy has put some air in the tires. Unfortunately, I couldn't see exactly how much air was going in while I was outside the car. So I just filled it up and I'm off about three pounds each. You know what I'm saying? So don't, don't, don't trip on it that bad. All right. I know y'all gonna be in my comment section like, you need to put three more pounds in the other tire so that yeah, I, I, I'll get to it. All right. The car is going right back in the garage, man. The car is going right back in the garage. But yeah, man, I'm just out here, man, enjoying the day a little bit. Um, guys, definitely, man, make sure you stay in the house if you can. Stay safe. Uh, if you do choose to go outside, make sure you got on some eye protection. Make sure you just do what you need to do, man, to keep you and your family safe. Uh, also, uh, you know, if you can, when you come inside the house, make sure you take your shoes off. Uh, make sure you're not tracking none of that uh, stuff around your house, around your home. Clean your home very thoroughly. Uh, clean your groceries, you know, when you come in from outside, clean your groceries, anything you bring from outside, if you can, let it sit somewhere for, you know, 24 to 48 hours if you can before you actually touch it. And make sure you wash your hands, guys. Washing your hands, using hand sanitizer is so important right now. Just teach your kids to wash your hands. It only works as well as everybody doing it the, together. If you got one person in the house, which is the bad link, the weak link, not doing it, that one person can spread to a hundred people in the same place that's all doing it, correct? You know what I'm saying? So make sure that you train everybody in this time to make sure that they're doing what they need to do to be sanitary. Let's make sure we do what we can to stop this pandemic, man, and get on with our lives, man. Because I want to be able to get out here and really enjoy my car. Be able to feel like a free man again and, you know, just be out, be able to go out and contact and connect with my people and, you know, just live my life and let them live theirs. I want everybody to, you know, 
look back at this and be like, man, we got through it together, you know, because we all took action. And, and one other thing I, I want to say to my people, man, make sure that you are protecting yourself in this time, you know what I'm saying, in other ways too. Y'all probably know what I'm getting at, but protect yourself if you can, man. Take the classes to be able to protect yourself correctly. Uh, make sure that you go get the things you need to protect yourself, to be able to protect yourself. While a lot of y'all out here going to buy toilet paper and paper towels, y'all need to be going and getting something to protect yourself. Because, guys, this could get a lot worse with this economy before it gets better, okay? Could get a lot worse with this economy before it gets better, so make sure that you do what you need to do. On my way to the car wash, hopefully I can find a hand car wash. I think I'll have to go to Indiana because they just, you know, I don't, I don't have not seen a lot of hand car washes uh, open here in uh, Illinois, and I need a hand car wash. One hour later. Y'all, this has been a crazy day, man. I've been looking for a damn car wash to get my car washed, and I cannot find one. I've run all the way to Indiana, and the car wash that I typically go to is a hand car wash, and they are closed. They are not doing any car washes right now. I went to another car wash that I really didn't want to go to to try to see if I can get a car wash. Only reason I went there is because they do do a hand dry at the end of the wash. Now, it's a track that the car would have to go through with the brushes, which I really don't want to do, but I was just trying to get the car clean. And my car is too low to go through that machine, so I couldn't do that. So now I have no choice but to go to AutoZone and get my own waterless car wash cleaning supplies with some microfiber towels and uh just try to you know clean what i can man and just do the best job that i can man who, who would have known it would have been this hard to get a car wash <laughs> just crazy man just this whole thing is just woof, not good for us car people now i just gotta go ahead and um get my car back home and you know, next time I'll just try to wash it in my driveway. It's still a little cool, you know, even though it's t-shirt weather, I don't want to risk getting sick with pneumonia or nothing like that right now. So uh, I just decided I'm going to just, you know, do a little Sprite, light spray off. All right, Stone Squeezy. So I picked up some Rain X waterless car wash and rain repellent <sighs> and some microfiber towels. I really didn't want to get this. This is not the kind that I typically get. I couldn't find the one that I really get. So I'm going to just use this and uh, see how it works. And this is actually a product review and trying to get the car clean. So I'll let y'all know. So y'all stay tuned, man. We're going to see what this is going to do. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do first, guys, is I'm going to actually just saturate the different areas that I want to really concentrate on I mean, and then try to just let this stuff sit for a while because it has been caked on here for over a month and um, we just want to make sure we get it nice and saturated all over the spots that we want to really like I said concentrate on so we're going to let this sit these areas really got beat up bad by the tires and, uh, of course, the front got beat up real bad by the bugs. So, I'm gonna let this probably sit for at least about five to 10 minutes. And then I'll probably come and hit it again and then try to wipe it off and see how it works. So, we'll see, man, if this Rain X waterless car wash and rain repellent really works. All right, All right Stunt Squeezy. So, as you can see, man, I did not clean the rims. So, please don't say the rims are dirty because I didn't clean them because it's just pretty much a waste of time. This product, guys, I'm going to give it a 8, maybe a 7.5. Uh, it cleaned the car mostly, but some of the tougher areas, it did not clean. Even the back spots right there that it would not remove and uh even on this side 
But other than that, it did a pretty okay job. I had to go over some spots with a hot towel to really loosen up the dead bugs and stuff like that. But it came out okay, so I ain't gonna lie. You know, it's pretty good. If the car was, you know, not as dirty, it definitely would have looked a whole lot better. But drop in the comments and let me know what y'all think out of that product, man. Is it a good product or you leave it alone? All right, I want to know. But we're about to get into some POV driving footage and we're gonna see what we can get into. All right, so y'all stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel, let's go. All right, Stun Squizzy, your boy Stun Reese about to give y'all a little POV driving footage in the absolute best Hellcat in the world. The Hellcat Yellcat, man, no doubt about that. That's just how I feel. Some people may disagree, but it stands to be proven that, hey, man, for a stock Hellcat and the way I'm doing what I do on the track, it's definitely one of the best, definitely. All right, but yeah, man, we about to get into this POV driving footage, man, and see what we can see out there, man. We got the ambulance crew over there. And, uh, whoo, we got a little dunk right here, man. Y'all see that dunk right there? I hope y'all can see it. Now, I'm gonna try to get some pulls for y'all, man. Guys, I just got a disclaimer, man. This video is highly modified, so I'm gonna make it look on the screen like I'm going faster than I really am, but I'm really only gonna be doing the speed limit. All right, so it's all modified, all modified. You know what I'm saying? You could do that nowadays with you know the special effects. It is looking like it's about to start raining soon, though. That is definitely a problem and an issue. It went from being nice and blue skies to now these cloudy looking skies that we got right now. Now, I just want to talk real quick, man. I've been looking at possibly, you know, doing something before my Z06 gets here because it looks like this whole Z06 thing with the whole plant being shut down and they're not making any more 2020 vets and all of that. It looks like this whole pandemic thing has really disrupted a lot of things in the world and even dodge right now i don't believe is rolling out anymore 2020 so i'm not 100 percent sure on that if you know if that is true or not definitely drop in the comments because me and i'm pretty sure some other people who would like to know but guys i have actually been searching for wide body hellcats on the internet and they are actually becoming slim pickings. I was looking for a specific color one, you know what I'm saying? If I did move up to a wide body and I have not been able to find it. So I don't know if it's just, you know what I'm saying? You know, they're not listed them on the internet or what it is, but I have not been able to find this specific color. And I know the car was made in that color, but yeah, I'm, of course I'm not gonna disclose the color to y'all but uh yeah i am definitely trying to see um just something i was thinking about guys it's not really at the top of the priority list just something i'm thinking about another thing i gotta tell y'all real quick is that my house closing got pushed back from it was supposed to be friday which was three days ago so now it's gonna be this thursday now today is monday and guys, I'm just, man, I'm talking to my lawyer every day like, man, can we get a final closing? And she's saying uh, that tomorrow, she texts me today and said tomorrow we should get a confirmation on a final closing. You know, man, I'm just so ready to show you guys the next move with the, you know, getting another property. We wanna keep the property flip videos going. Just wanna keep, I mean, a lot of things going with the channel. And you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of money tied up into the big house. And I just wanna make my profit, man. Who wouldn't wanna make their profit, man? I'm waiting to get my big check out, my big check house profit check. I definitely wanna get that, get some things squared away, man. But you know, this whole pandemic thing is just really, really crazy. And all I can do is, you know what I'm saying? Wait until I get the closing. 
I get the clear to close and I get the actual uh, check in my hand. You know what I'm saying? The, the check, the money is where I can actually touch it. Pull it out. That's when I'll be most happy, man. And I just hope that y'all all understand that I'm trying to do everything I can to maintain everything with the channel. And I got to take care of my life stuff too, man. This property, the, you know, the family, you know, also looking for new properties like on a daily. That new properties on the MLS is actually has damn near came to a halt, guys. Nobody is even really listing any new properties on the MLS. So it's just, man, you if you want to move on something, you gotta like really, really move on it now. And that's the thing of it. It's just, man, it's just so crazy out here with everything going on, man. And uh, man, I'm just hoping that, you know what I'm saying, it all ends soon so we can get all back to our lives. I know y'all want to get back to your lives just like I want to get back to my life, man. And uh, yeah, but but we almost on the E-way, the toll road, and I'm gonna try to get some pools for y'all, man. I got a little secret, guys, that I want to show you guys, and I hope you guys can see it. But I'm gonna get you some pools first before I show you that. traffic now that's not the true speed it's not the true speed y'all it's not the true speed y'all Woo! yeah that was all in special effects I did that y'all like the way I did that man it took me a lot of time to put that together to make it look like I was going faster than I actually was. Everybody else was going so slow though, man. I don't know if they seen something in the road or something and everybody slowed down at like 20 miles an hour and it really gave my effect the feel that I was doing faster than, you know, 55. Because as you can see, the speed limit is 55 right there. But yeah, guys, I want to show you this man real quick. If I go through my selection of settings on my car, it has different things. And let me see if I can show you something. Can you guys see that? I hope you guys can, man. I hope you guys can see that. I'm not sure exactly where my POV cam is facing, but guys, I did 186 miles an hour in this car, man. Yeah, yeah, I did 186 miles an hour in this car, man. I want to know who got a Hellcat that can top that on the speedometer reading, man. Now, I ain't talking about no red eye. I ain't talking about no demon. I'm talking about a Hellcat who can top that on their speed uh, data log, on their performance log, man. A top mile an hour of 186 now of course when i did that guys i was in a controlled environment and you know what i'm saying it was or, you know no traffic or anything around i you know went to a, a sanctioned place where they were allowing people to do top speed runs i just want y'all to know that that's my you know what i'm saying that's my disclaimer so i did not do that on a public road where people were out i did not do that all right y'all all right well, yeah, man, that was crazy, man. That was a crazy experience. I need to know who can beat 186. Who can beat it? Who can top it? Show it to me. Drop it. Show it to me. Drop it. Who can top it? Boy, if you don't get... I don't know, man. I think I might hold a crown, man. Now, they saying that this car has a top speed of 199 miles an hour. So yes, I was 13 miles an hour short of the very, very top speed that this car will go. All right, but y'all just stay tuned, man. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get no more pulls because y'all see the traffic out here is crazy and I'm definitely not gonna, you know what I'm saying, go faster than 55 because everybody else seems to be going like 20 right now. So I'm gonna just go 20 with the floor of the traffic. That guy doing about 36 probably. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. All right, Stunt Squad. 
your boy has made it back home man and guys we got the putt putt prius and we got the hellcat yellcat who wears the gold rims better well let's take a look at the other side because that one got the <laughs> factory ram on it but yeah who wears the gold rims better hmm I'm gonna say the Hellcat yeah okay definitely for the W on that man but still all in all man the giveaway car still looks good I almost bust my ass I know but still looks good but I definitely gotta go with the Hellcat yeah okay all right but that's gonna wrap this video up man guys make sure you subscribe to the channel guys I'm giving away this car at a hundred thousand but before I get this car giving away I'm gonna be giving away a item every thousand subscribers starting at 36,000 which is only 400 and some subscribers away so guys make sure you guys are sharing my videos on Facebook to let everybody know that we are giving things away every thousand subscribers I get every thousand mark I am giving something away so y'all just stay tuned all right but just like that this video is over man I appreciate y'all time stay safe stay blessed all right, and uh, let's definitely give it up to our first responders, man, and everybody who's out here risking their life on the daily, man, to bring y'all this content, y'all YouTubers. I appreciate y'all and everybody who's taking care of everybody, man. I'm out of here. It's your boy, Wild Boy, man. Make sure you subscribe to Lady X as well because she's giving away some stuff. She's going to be doing some real funny stuff, y'all. Stay tuned for her channel. Let's get it. Let's go. Ah. Hey, hey, hey. Can, uh, subscribe, share. Oh, uh, what does it like for you to get? Subscribe, square, like, square. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, subscribe, square. Yeah, subscribe, share, and like. So it ain't square. It's square. And share. All right, that's Subscribe up. to my man. <laughs> <laughs>